Good afternoon. My name is Kai Buchanan. I am a sophomore elementary education major and today I will be giving an informative speech on Mr. John Woolman. First, we're going to start with the word abolitionism. The definition for abolitionism is the belief that slavery should be ended and slaves shall be set free from their bondage. The fighters for the end of slavery are known as abolitionists. Abolitionists that may be familiar in history are people like Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Lydia Maria Child, and countless other fighters. One that may be unfamiliar is Mr. John Woolman. I am going to inform you about who John Woolman was, his importance to the world, and the significance of his work in today's society. So, who was John Woolman? Let's start from the very beginning. Woolman was born on October 19, 1720, and died on October 7, 1772. He was raised in Northampton in Burlington County, West Jersey. Woolman was quite a remarkable child. He was taught from an early age the importance of divine love. This type of love is spiritual and unwavering. Woman recounts that he had the patience of divine love before he was seven years old. His parents nurtured this concept of divine love within their son and taught him to read early in life. John Woman remembers in his childhood school days that he would be reading while the other children would be at play. He tells us that he was able to read the book of Revelation chapter 22 in the Bible. Chapter 22 of Revelation says, showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. His ability to read and understand divine love influenced his lifelong dedication to the abolishment of slavery and the equality movement. What he also realized about divine love is that it contradicts the life people were living around him. He knew he had so much work to do, so he got straight to it. Next, let's dive into why John Woolman is so important. There are various reasons why John Woolman is so important, but the main reason is his dedication to being a soldier in the fight for equality. Woolman was employed as a clerk and had to do something that went against his divine love. He was forced to write a bill of sale for a slave woman once he realized what he had done, he immediately regretted his decision. At that moment, he knew that he was contributing to a system that he was trying to abolish. Mr. Woolman was a man in the cause of humanity and taught love. On the other hand, one thing that he hated and despised most was slavery. He spoke to his boss and the buyer of the slave woman and told them that slavery contradicts the code of Christianity. The sale of that woman greatly affected him and his journey. Moreover, he set out on foot to most Quaker plantations. In fact, he visited all 13 colonies to go against the exploitation of Africans in bondage, as well as the mistreatment of Native Americans. Interestingly enough, he was so dedicated to the cause that he traveled mostly on foot and occasionally on horseback to spread the news to the Quakers that slavery and mistreatment of other minor minorities is morally wrong. Furthermore, on his journey, his goal was to persuade slaveholders to free their slaves because there would be consequences beyond this world that would affect them and the generations to come. John Woolman also had a journal with powerful information on how he persuaded the Quakers to ban slavery as an institution. In this journal, there is a story where a slaveholder claimed that a boy still had four and a half years to serve before he could be freed. So what John Woolman did was serve that four and a half years for him so that young man could be set free. Woman took on that debt and worked until the debt was paid off. 
This piece of information is so important because it shows that this man may not have been wealthy in money, but he was wealthy in the love that he had to share. This soldier even had impacts beyond abolitionism. He had impacted those of the literary community, people such as Charles Lamb, Edward Irving, Samuel Taylor, Coleridge, and several other great names in literature. For example, Irving noted that woman was a perfect germ. It is also said that he is to be a beautiful soul. The perception of others proves his dedication to spreading his one true religion, love. He is important because he positively impacted all those around him in the fight for equality. Lastly, I'm going to explain to you how John Woolman is still significant 250 years after his death in today's society. To begin, equality is still something we are trying to achieve around the world and specifically in the United States of America. Some people may think that we as the United States are an egalitarian society at this point in the 21st century. Egalitarianism means the belief that all are equal and everyone deserves equal opportunities. Woman is so significant because the United States, as well as the world, are still fighting the battle for equality. The idea of white supremacy has a long lasting effect and unfortunately still occurs today. When Woman was on his quest to convince Quakers to set their slaves free, he was able to persuade many because those beliefs did not follow the code of Christianity. Current day Christians who do not believe in equality mirror the Quakers who continue to participate in owning slaves because once again, it does not align with the Christian values of love. Additionally, Woolman anticipated the civil rights movement in his journals all that time ago. This is very significant in, cur in the current fight for the rights of minorities. They continue to fight for their rights and equality, just as Woolman did. Moreover, as mentioned before, John Woolman persuaded slave owners by warning them that the profit they make from slaving will surely affect their children and generations to come. Woolman has been proven correct in his warnings. In today's society, topics such as discrimination, mistreatment of minorities, and horrors of slavery are too sensitive for some people. Woolman knew that those who received profit from slavery would have consequences and for their generations to come. There is still an argument about these topics because some may not see the relevance of these topics I have listed, but today systemic racism prevails because of the actions of ancestors. In Woolman's journal, he also speaks about wanting the outwardly things, seeking profits and friends instead of finding inner peace ultimately leads to being at risk for darkness in your lives. He speaks about how joy can be found in making honest earnings. Making honest earnings will not bring guilt and they can be enjoyed according to woman. He also believed that money received or earned by ill will is rather shameful and should not be taken because of the negative effects it will not only have on the person who accepts it, but those around them as well. That is true in today's, in today's society. Greed is something that influenced the slave trade and mistreatment years ago and currently influences issues such as child trafficking, sex trafficking, illegal drug distribution, etc. Woman explains greed as creating burdens for yourself. John Woolman is significant 250 years after his death because history seems to repeat itself negatively and his teachings can be a guide to help our future generations. To conclude, I would like to leave you with this. Dr. Bill Indy is a man who wears many hats, but in this case, an academic, he states, an idealist may die, but ideals will never die. John Woolman 
was a man who may not be as widely known as other abolitionists, but still made quite an impact 250 years after his death because of his contribution of his love. After this speech, I hope you are now more well informed on who John Woolman is, his importance to the world, and how significant he is in today's society. Thank you.